should put my leg down and be more professional. Also, why am I wearing a hoodie? It's fine. Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. This one's gonna be a little bit different. It's more of like a what's in my bag type deal. Um, I have a lot of friends who always ask me what I'm wearing or I have clients. So I feel like that's something a lot of people want to know about. So I thought I would just share what I wear on a daily, what I wear on occasion. Something a little bit different than a tutorial. If you've been on my channel, it's very different. I used to do um, fast motion videos of me drawing. Uh, college student now, don't have time to sit down and record myself drawing for three hours. So. This is the kind of content you're going to be getting. But yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. So, base-wise, on a daily, I usually wear the Lancome Tante Doll Foundation. I spray tan, so I mix two shades. It's like medium coverage. Super long wearing. It's like a 24-hour wear. That's why I like it. If I'm wearing a powder, I either go for the Pure Minerals powder in Golden Medium or MAC, the Studio Fix in NC15. This one's way too light for me right now, but it's good for like a nice under eye brighten. This one's really smoothing, which I like, and so is this one. It has shea in it, so it's hydrating, which is really nice. Bronzer wise, if I want something that's going to be shimmery, I have Laguna. And NARS. It's really pretty. It's like a terracotta brown. Or if, like your go to matte, I have Hula. I just have a tester right now because like my full size um, <laughs> looks like this. Blush wise, this is the blush that like changed my life. Fairly precious. It's the MAC. Oh, it's the extra dimension blush. I never wore blush before because I have a lot of redness in my face, so I just didn't want to add to that. And one of my coworkers sold me this, and it's just like, ugh, I can't even explain it. It's like shimmery. I don't like highlight, so it gives you that glow without being like, oh, she's got glitter on her face. If I'm not wearing that one, I usually wear just like this NYX one. It's peachy. It's called Amber. Um, if I just don't want a shimmer, if I'm going for like a natural look, that's my dog coming up the stairs. Concealer, I'm a basic bitch. Um, if I'm doing just like a day-to-day -day look, like going to school, something like that, um, I usually reach for my MAC Pro Longwear because I think it has more of like a skin finish than a matte for the shape tape. So if I'm just like covering a zit, um, I usually do this one. It's also waterproof. So if I have like a massive zit and I'm going to like the gym or something. Primers. Um, this is just a tester right now because my full size is empty, but I use the Stila One Step Corrector. It has like green, purple, and orange in it. It's color correcting. I usually wear that like every day, if I'm even if I'm not wearing makeup because I feel like it just like makes my skin look a little better. I don't know. Um, but I did just get this one. Oh, I want to talk about it. It's the Derma Blend Insta Grip Jelly Primer. I tried this for the first time like two days ago, and it's really weird, like I'll kind of like squirt some on my finger, like it looks like this, um, it literally feels like, you know when you were a kid and you would put glue on your hand and then it would dry and you would like rip it off, that's what it feels like, like it feels like glue when you stick it on your face, but it does dry and it really just like grips your makeup I feel like, I feel like my makeup stayed on really well when I wore it, um, but it is like kind of weird to put on. Um, if I'm doing mascara, well, I always do mascara, but when I do mascara, I like the Smashbox Super Fan a lot. And then today I have on just like lights, cameras, lashes. I like this one because it like fans out your lashes and lengthens them, but then also like separates them without looking clumpy. And I get really oily down here. That's why I like the shape tape because it's mattifying. But this one doesn't transfer, which I find is really important because I hate like at the end of the day when my mascara is like on my face because you don't want that. Eyebrows, my eyebrow routine is extensive, so I have a lot of products. I have very thick eyebrows, like my hairs are so long and they're like bushy. So I usually do 
dip brow, obviously, like a lot of people do, just because I think that it can make it look so much more full, whereas if I have a pencil, I feel like it looks really awkward. But if I do want a natural look, I will go in with a brow whiz, just something quick to even them out. And then I always put in my gimme brow in number five. I'm kind of out of this one right now, so I need to restock. And then because my la my eyebrows are so wiry and like furry, I always set them in place with the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit because then they're glued down, they're not going anywhere, I don't have to worry about it. Eyeliner, I hate to say it, but the tattoo liner from Kat Von D is my holy grail eyeliner. Like I will splurge on this. Um, I haven't found it's equal. It stays on really long, like I have to scrub at it. It's not matte, so it just looks a little bit more natural in my opinion. If I'm doing waterline, I love like the charcoal ones from Lancome. These ones are waterproof. They stay on really long and they're really pigmented, which I like. Eyelash glue, this one's my favorite. It's the Velour one. Um, it always stays kind of tacky, so I find like if I have very like weird shaped eyes, like I, I can't even discuss it, but my band always falls off towards like the inner part of my eye. So I always have to like press it back on and this one always stays kind of tacky so I can do that. It's not like dry where I'm like screwed the rest of the day. I do like the Tarte one a lot too but I find the Tarte one like stays on my eye when I'm taking my makeup off and I always have like clumps in it and I feel like my eyelashes would fall out. So I found this one and I think it's it comes off just fine. Um, setting sprays, I either use, so this is actually the, um, the prep and set from MAC, Fix Plus, that's what it's called, um, but I put it in the Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist, Milky Mist bottle because the, like, I'll spray it, the mist is, like, so fine versus Fix Plus, I feel like I got droplets on my face. So I usually just pour it in there when I get a refill. And then I also do have the Hydrating Milky Mist. This one has hyaluronic acid in it, so I really like that because it helps to like plump the skin. Um, I don't really think it prolongs the wear very much, but I like how it meshes like my powders and with my liquids and creams and stuff like that. Sometimes if I'm wearing a more dewy foundation, I want a more mattifying uh, primer to go with it. So I usually reach for the Natural Radiance from MAC has a little bit of a shimmer to it, like little like glitter bits, I don't know what to call them, but it is mattifying and it's oil controlling, and I do have like a really oily t-zone, whereas like the rest of my face is dry, which is super awesome and um, difficult, but it's, it's fine. I set my makeup using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Um, this one has a little bit of a tint to it, which I like, because it'll help brighten. Plus you're not going to get as much of like a flashback as you would with a translucent powder so that's always nice. Highlight, I have this one from MAC. I don't typically highlight very often but you have like the three shades with it. I'm not a huge fan of the middle one just because it's more like purpley pinky and that's not my move, I'm more like golden. So if I'm pale I use this one, if I'm tan. I'll kind of mix, but these ones work really well. I like Max highlighters a lot. Um, what's the one I like? Whisper of Guilt. If you need a highlighter. Oh, it's like so golden. It's kind of like a knockoff of Champagne Pop, if you will, but it just looks so much better. Eyeshadow palettes. I have a lot, but I'll just talk about the ones I use mostly. Modern Renaissance, my go-to. I think Anastasia Beverly Hills makes the best eyeshadows. I remember this was so talked about for like the longest time online and I was just like, okay, it's an eyeshadow palette, whatever, when I first got into makeup. And then I wanted something with pinks in it, so I bought it and honestly I'm obsessed with it. I've hit pan. Like my go-to daily colors are these three, as you can tell. They're um, almost completely out. So I would say this is the one I usually use like every day for my everyday looks. I've been reaching into the James Charles palette a lot lately. I do like that one for like a fun pop of color. Otherwise my other like go to the Tarte and Bloom. I always sell this to clients for like their first starter palette. I think you can use every color in this no problem 
and they're really creamy and they last a really long time. The reason I'm out of this one is because it was literally the color of my skin tone, so it always set my eyes with this one, and unfortunately I'm out, but this one's pretty good if you just like want a good starter palette. I got this one from work, it's from Smashbox, it's one of their little minis. I think these are really nice. It's the Ablaze palette. I use the Tarte Park Avenue Princess for my contour. I'm not a huge fan of the bronzer in it. I think it's a little bit orange for me, but their contour shade is like on point. These are kind of nice to brighten up. If I want a shimmer bronzer, sometimes I'll use these ones, but mainly I use it for the contour shade. If I want a more cool toned blush, um, I have this one from Flower. I actually really like their blushes. I think they work really well. Um, I don't often reach for a cool tone blush, but if I do, I think this one works really well. I also have this one that I sometimes set with if I want to look dewy. It's from Urban Decay. I don't have too many Urban Decay products, but it's the Translucent Pressed Beauty Powder. I don't know if they sell this anymore. It's like super old, probably when I first started working at Ulta. But it just like gives a subtle glow, which I like because like I said before, I don't really like highlight. So I think it just gives me a little something and like brightens me up if I want it. Should I talk about beauty sponges? I mean, I think I guess. It's whatever. The one from Juno and Co. that everyone talks about, I like it. It just gets dirty really fast and it's kind of hard to clean. But I think it puts on makeup really nice. I usually use this one for my foundation or I use a brush and then I use just like a basic beauty blender for my concealer. I hate saying that I have a beauty blender because I think it's so stupid paying $20 for a sponge, but I do think it makes a world of difference. Like, I always use the Real Techniques ones, and I was like, oh yeah, a sponge is a sponge, it's fine. And then I started using this, and I was like, oh, it's so bouncy. Like, it works so much better. What a shocker. Sometimes, if I'm really oily, I use this one to moisturize. It's the Clinique Fit line. They made a fitness line, I think, about a year ago. Um, it's a mattifying, like, post-workout moisturizer. It works really good to suck up that oil. It leaves you really matte. I love this primer. I really want to buy a full size of it. It's the Lancome La Boss. doesn't really do a whole lot, but it just makes your skin so smooth and kind of fills in your pores. Like, I feel like I always have, like, such, like, dull skin when I use it, which I love. But I'm also one of those people who thinks primer is kind of a gimmick made by the beauty industry. I don't think it makes a huge difference unless it's you like you're super dry and you need to correct like dryness or if you have redness you need to correct that. I think that's awesome, but I don't think there's a such thing as just like your basic primer. This is the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This one's more of like a cream concealer. It works, it's fine. I usually use it just to like either set my eyelids or create a cut crease because it doesn't crease, which is really nice. But I find that it just looks weird when I use it as a normal concealer. I feel like my foundation and powder stick to it and you can really see it, which I am not a huge fan of. But I do love it on the eyes. I think it's really awesome. If I'm just using a concealer, I do like my Pro Long Wear a little bit better just because it is waterproof. I think that's lovely. Another eyeliner I really like is the Tardiest from Tarte. It's a gel liner, so I think it's a little bit for more experienced liner girls, like if you have that down. This one's awesome. It stays on really long. It's matte, which is really cute. It has kind of like a palette on the top, like it's flat. So I usually squirt a little bit out onto that and then take a brush and like flatten the brush so you can get a really like precise wing. But I think that this is, has a beautiful application to it and I do love it. Eyelashes. I always wear the Ardell 117 Wispies. Those are my go-to. They're flawless. I always have so many people who are like, oh my gosh, wow, your eyelashes are so long, what mascara do you use? And I'm like, I'm a little boy, I don't have eyelashes, these are fake. Like everything else about me. But, I have the Foam Ink Wispies, I think these ones are really fine, I think they're whatever. I like how they're like staggered, it's like a thin piece and a thicker piece, if you know what I mean. So I think it creates a cool dimension. But the band is kind of thick, so I feel like you can see the glue, and I do think they come off a little easy. I think the Ardell 117s stay on really long and I love how thin the lash, like the band is. You can get it super close to the lash line, but like these ones work for me right now because I can't afford new ones. Well, I mean they're like 10 bucks but I don't want to, like I need gas. I don't often buy expensive lashes just because those ones do the job for me, but I got these from work. They're the Luxe Foam Ink Lashes from Velour and they're cruelty free. Love that. 
but they're just, oh I can't even, here's what they look like, it doesn't really do anything, but they're just, they give you these like doll lashes, and they're, oh my god, I can't. I've worn these like probably seven times, and they hold up really well. I do have to take the glue off the band like you have to do for any lash, but I always put on mascara first, and then I'll pop these on so that they have a little bit longer, like a shelf life, if that's a thing, because then they don't get mascara in them, but they're, oh, I wear them for every like formal event because I just fucking love them. If I can marry something, it'd be those lashes. This is the other glue I was talking about, the Tardius Pro. I like this one for proms and stuff. I Like I said, I wouldn't use it for day to day just because it gets really stuck in your lashes. But if you have like a wedding or something and you need those babies to stay on, this is like fucking glue. Lipsticks. Here's the thing about those. I have a lot. Like, I can barely open my lipstick drawer just because I've accumulated so many. But I hate lipstick. Like, I don't like it. Like, I never wear lipstick, which is weird for someone in my line of work. But I don't know, I just feel like I look so much better with like a nice nude pink, and I don't like the feel of it. So I have a couple, I'll show you. This one is my, like, my fucking go-to, love it, holy grail lipstick. The MAC ones are my favorite. I think they last so long, they look beautiful. Their shade range is fucking amazing. This one is Honey Love. I've never used this much of a lipstick, like, I, I, this is how you know I love it and I wear it every day, it's because I'm like coming out of it or running out of it it's just like the perfect nude for me one of my co-workers found it for me and was like I know you hate lipstick but try this and I usually wear it every day that I'm wearing lipstick this is Velvet Teddy from MAC this is my other one I really like as you can see it's not used as much but like this is the second one I usually reach for it's more of like a pinky nude um if I want something taupey oh I love these glosses these are from Buxom the wand is dope it's called Tope It Off. Love that. This is like the first gloss that I found that I really don't need to put other product underneath it. It's so pigmented. And it's, I don't, it's not super glossy. Like, you know what I mean? It's not like you can feel it through the day. It dries down a little bit. But they're just beautiful. Like, they're so buttery. Oh, I love this one. Especially with like a taupe eye look. That's kind of my go to. Ooh, I don't like this shade very much, but I do really like this lipstick. It's the Matte Shakers from Lancome. If you don't like the feel of lipstick, but you want to make your lips more full and you want to add a little something, these are awesome. You just shake them. It sounds like a spray paint bottle. And then it has a sponge, and you just apply that. And it's kind of like a stain if you will but it stays on really well which is nice but they're just so natural and hydrating they're perfect for the summertime this one's Anita from NARS these are really nice they're super buttery they stay on really long I like the packaging on it, it says like NARS like engraved into the lipstick I think that's cute and they're magnetic so they stay on really well which is nice Smashbox makes great liquid lips they stay on literally forever and they're a little bit more hydrating than like the tart lip paint or the Stila liquid mattes. I think these ones don't look as crusty throughout the day. Don't like kill me for not hate, like loving the Stila ones. But I like this one a little bit better. Just a brown shade. Another MAC one I really like is Creme de Nude. It's super pale. Like literally I could put this on and you would not see my lips. But I usually stick it over like a darker shade to make it lighter. And this one isn't matte. It's more of a hydrating look. I'll use it as a gloss-ish over something. I'm not a huge fan of glosses, but I feel like this adds just a bit more hydration, which I kind of like. I don't often go for a red lip, but if I do, oh my god. I'm really sorry. I feel bad sharing this shade because I don't think it exists anymore, but like, the Kat Von D lipsticks, so good. This one's in Tijuana. They still sell it. Cop it. It's just like, the perfect red but I got this at Sephora like a year ago because it was on sale for like eight bucks so I was like why not and then I do have a Kylie gloss such a piece of bitch I don't like brushes but and I hate the smell on these but I do like this gloss I think it's cute I think it works fine it's not super sticky her formula is not terrible but I think it's literally yeah <laughs> literally me but yeah that is the extent of this video if you like it and you want me to make more videos you can like it or you can subscribe to this page 
I'm really bored this summer, so I figured I might make videos. Um, I'm not going to do another what's in my bag because I just went through my whole bag. But I might do some more tutorials, some more things here and there. So if you like my shit, you can like and subscribe and I might make more. We will see if I don't get lazy. Um, that's it for today. Oh god, that was gross.